Hello people, in this video let us look at how to read OBGYN that is obstetrics and gynecology in MBBS. So first of all what is obstetrics? Obstetrics has everything to do with pregnancy and delivery, right? Gynecology has everything to do with the female reproductive tract. Dealing with infertility and even family planning comes in gynecology, okay? And here gynecology is mostly uh, about bleeding, you know, abnormal bleeding or uh, uh, postmenopausal bleeding, everything from menarche to menorrhagia, everything, okay, um, menopause, all that comes here. So gynecology should be put first and then obstetrics. What do you say, people? Okay, anyways, uh, so uh, look, let us look at the marks here for uh, obstetrics and gynecology. So you will have to write a paper of uh, 100 marks for obstetrics and 100 marks for gynecology. You will usually have it on separate days. So focus completely on obstetrics and completely on gynecology on individual days. Okay. And then coming to practical clinicals. So basically there you will have again one obstetric case, one gynecology case usually. Um, this is varying from college to college. Obstetrics, um, you will get a normal uh, pregnant female or with anemia or with hyperemesis or with threatened abortion or she can have hypertension in pregnancy or gestational diabetes mellitus or she can have twin pregnancy or they can actually give you a postnatal case, case where you will have to also do the newborn examination. Please remember that. Now coming to gynecology, usually like we told you, it's all about bleeding and um, uh, this uh, uh, bleeding can be because of fibroid or because of even carcinoma. So you should always keep that in mind. Tumors, prolapse, uh, so it could be mass per vagina, you should call it as, um, uh, and lump in abdomen. These are standard things that you get in gynecology. Now coming to theory viva, this will get added to your theory marks could be uh, or uh, however your university decides. So you could have dummy pelvis and fetus. So they will ask you to hold the pelvis in an anatomical position and <clears throat> take the baby through uh, in uh, uh, left occipital anterior position mechanism of normal delivery or uh, right occipital anterior right or they can ask you uh, um, breach breach also they can ask you to demonstrate something like this you'll have to demonstrate but here they are not holding an anatomical position okay you'll have to hold an anatomical position and uh, deliver the uh, show the delivery of the baby okay then drugs and family planning, what type of um, drugs they'll show you, they'll give you oxytocin. They'll ask you in one ampule of oxytocin, how many units of oxytocin is there? Five units of uh, international units of oxytocin. It could also be 10 international units of oxytocin. Then they will give you uh, misi, mif, um, misoprostol. Okay, they will ask you for what do you use it for cervical ripening or for MTP. Family planning, they can give you uh, copper tea, etc. And they'll ask you to identify like, OC pills um, uh, like Mala N, Mala D, etc. Coming to instruments, they can ask you guys, they can ask you the myoma screw. They can ask you uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> the vel velcilum, velcilum, right? Velcilum. So a lot of uh, uh, instruments are there, right? Uh, all that they can ask you. Pathology specimens, they can keep you specimens of uh, a, a uterus. They can keep a specimen of uh, uterus with leomyoma. Look at this. This is a wool cilum, right? It is curved here. This is what you should observe here. Unlike the alleys, this is slightly curved here, right? This is what you have to uh, observe. And then look at this intramural leomyoma. So basically, uh, they will ask you everything about it. This is a, a specimen of the uterus, something like that. You can say it is showing a, a growth here describe it etc then x-rays usually x-ray means they will keep hysterosalpingography they will keep or a misplaced uh, copper tea or uh, some kind of a intrauterine contraceptive device which has gone and hid somewhere um, that uh, x-ray they can keep okay let's write that here they can show you uh, ultrasound images of uh, abnormal fetus or a normal fetus. They can show you um, what else, what they'll show you spina bifida uh, or they can show you, uh, what is that, um, Arnold Chiari syndrome, right, of the, uh, again, a neural tube defect, right, all that they can show you. CTG or NST, NST or CTG they can keep for you. That is non-stress test or cardiotopography to check the fetal well-being, uh, fetal uh, heart rate. Partogram very important for your uh, theory and for your clinical partogram is very, very important. Okay. What is this people? Non-stress test. Yeah, it's already written here. So here you can see the fetal heart rate. It is showing uh, a lot of beat-to-beat uh, -beat variability and it should have two, two accelerations in 20 minutes at least. Uh, two accelerations should be there. 15 beats per minute rise and uh, it should be held for a duration of 15 seconds. Right? That is what is reactive and that is good. And with that uh, they have put here fetal movement. Okay? When the mother marks the fetal movement which is not very significant though. 
uh, because uh, it should correspond with the acceleration something like that you can say this is non stress test when it is getting uh, marked with along with um, the uterine contractions that is during the labor that time it will be called as a ctg cardio topography okay toco cardio tocography cardio refers to the fetal heart and toco for the mother's uterus tocography okay what is this partogram very good partogram uh, partograph for uh, uh, labor progress right so there is an alert line action line so basically let us say she is uh, touching the alert line what you should do before she reaches the action line you should send her to a hospital that can that can manage okay uh, that is what is uh, uh, alert line action line what else uh, you want to know here everything about the mother baby everything will be there here okay the medicines given the her bp pulse everything will be monitored here contractions when they are coming uh, etc 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 so this is about your exam what and all will be there now let's go to the books that you have to buy uh, uh, suggestions is datta for obstetrics uh, along with that buy your question bank from your uh, university so that you will know the priority questions for gynecology again datta uh, again the um, what am i saying guys the question bank uh, some people also refer this uh, shaw's gynecology it's up to you uh, practical clinical uh, the thing is you just keep the pro formas okay pro formas will be how to take an obstetric pro forma how to give, take a gynecology pro forma standard it is okay it is very simple obstetrics and gynecology pro forma so you can along with those pro formas you can use your datta textbook but the problem with carrying datta textbook is there are two books one is gynecology and one is obstetrics you will not know whether you, that day you will get a case of obstetric obstetrics or gynecology so if you just want to carry one book then you have to buy one of these clinical books um that is what is uh, uh, you can say but however uh, i bought this one and uh, i didn't use it fully but if you want you can use it and tell us how it is i felt that this book has very glossy pages very difficult to read the glossy pages it reflects a lot of light anyways uh, then coming to uh, very important here yeah listen in class that also we have to tell you right yeah listen in class attend clinics attend ot's so what happens is they will tell you newer things actually practically what they do in life right and uh, in clinics now you will uh, learn all the grips pelvic grip uh, first pelvic grip second pelvic grip lateral grip fundal height how to do you should use your uh, left hand for fundal height you know after uh, attending all the clinics also suddenly you will start using right hand then uh, go see in the ot how they do hysteroscopy how they do uh, uh, laparoscopy how do the ovaries look go and observe how they are doing dilatation and evacuation dilatation curettage how um, they are putting clamps in hysterectomy if it is an vaginal hysterectomy where are the clamps if it is an abdominal hysterectomy where are the clamps there is some witherin or some uh, hysterectomy right learn what that witherin uh, am i think worthian what is that hysterectomy it's this for times hysterectomy okay just look at that then um, in labor room now you understand that is uh, they are if they are inducing labor or uh, how exactly they are doing it dinoprostol gel uh, that is pge2 right why are they giving that why don't they give misoprostol then do they give misoprostol also how much oxytocin for induction of labor right then for pph how much oxytocin for c section um, uh c section just see uh, that when you when the baby is coming out they will remove the retractor and then reintroduce the retractor then how do they put a fenan steel incision on the abdomen how do they make the lower segment incision on the uterus why lower segment is better because the lower segment will not contract and relax like, unlike the upper segment then uh, it will not burst the uterus will not burst then layered suturing how do you suture the uterus after a c section right and then uh, remember when they ask you to assist right usually they'll be asking you to retract that's it okay so just pay attention to that um, uh, then what else this is about it now let's move on people how is it going are you liking are you learning something about uh, how to read obstetrics and gynecology okay now uh, top priority obstetric questions guys um, we are looking only at obstetric questions here pay attention so anemia and pregnancy uh you should know about it how you will manage uh, you will usually give uh, oral iron except only if it is very near the delivery etc episiotomy you will usually do medio lateral episiotomy lower segment cesarean section you should know that you will do lower segment why will you do lower segment because the uterus will uh, not rupture if you do here uh, it, the lower segment will not contract and relax and uh, remember that uh, what are the indications of lower segment cesarean section uh, like a cephalopelvic disproportion central placenta previa etc then come to molar pregnancy uh, you should know what complete mole partial mole basically this is a pregnancy that has gone wrong kind of a thing um, uh, so 
so you have molar pregnancy complete mole partial mole the complete can become choriocarcinoma twin pregnancy you should know about uh, monochorionic mo uh, monoamniotic twins why we don't like uh, when there is a single placenta why we don't like and they will suggest an mtp because uh, there can be something called as a twin to twin transfusion syndrome or a trap all those you should know then there can be conjoint twins etc if it is monochorionic um, then coming to mechanism of normal labor so mechanism of uh, normal labor they have written here look here engagement descent increasing flexion internal rotation uh, crowning uh, delivery of he the head by extension restitution external rotation and delivery of the trunk okay the shoulder and trunk this is the mechanism of uh, normal labor this you should know 100 times they will ask you in 100 places please know this okay then coming to um, coming back here Preeclampsia, preeclampsia. So basically, hypertension plus proteinuria becomes preeclampsia. This preeclampsia plus seizures becomes eclampsia. We have separate videos on all of this. We'll also make a revision video complete for all of this. Now, just look at the headings: gestational diabetes mellitus, uh, overt diabetes mellitus. What is the difference? Sorry, overt. Yeah, overt uh, diabetes mellitus, gestational diabetes mellitus. Overt means she has from before gestational. She got because of pregnancy. How do you manage? What are the complications? Breach delivery. After coming head of breach, how will you deliver all those um, um, reese smelt, uh, all those techniques you should know, piper forceps you can use, then uh, what is that? A burn martial technique, all that you should know here. Then coming to vacuum versus forceps, uh, vacuum is the op uh, instrument of choice. Vacuum is good for whom? The mother. Forceps is good for the baby. Non-stress test, um, non-stress test, we already told you cardiotopography, very important. Hyperemesis gravidarum. How do you manage the uh, simple, uh, basically, ondansetron, etc., properazine? Pro what is that drug? Yeah, promethazine, prochlorperazine, all this, okay, ondansetron, give her vitamin B1 because she'll be having thiamine deficiency, she'll have electrolyte imbalance, so give all this, okay. So, uh, this HEG means hyperemesis gravidarum. HEG is hyperemesis gravidarum. Come back here. Physiological changes during pregnancy, you will have to mention all the cardiovascular changes, how there is uh, vasodilation, right, uh, very, very important on the heart, what changes, on the blood vessel, what changes, the blood, the plasma volume will increase, all this you should know. Then, uh, coming to ectopic pregnancy, guys, what are the sites of ectopic pregnancy? It can be usually uh, it can be extra uterine even it can be uterine like the cervix etc then what are the complications of ectopic pregnancy what is the fate of an ectopic pregnancy how will you manage polyhydramnios guys um, uh, why is the uh, amniotic fluid more could be a uh, what is this uh, the afi could be more than uh, 24 or the largest uh, vertical pocket right uh, can be greater than 8 cm or more so basically why does it happen uh, we told you that uh, it can be because of fetal anomalies because the placenta is producing so much uh, placental abnormality it could be a multiple pregnancy it could be diabetes or some uh, cardiac or renal cause it could be uh, all these causes you should know okay diabetes mainly and fetal anomalies that much at least you remember coming to induction of labor in you you will induce only if there is some bishop score or something right bishop score more than nine they are saying is good on all of this individual separate videos are there guys look at them <clears throat> what we are trying to say is um, these are the high priority things each of this we will cover uh, in a revision video also we will make a revision video and all this we will cover at once also for now just look at the headings partogram we already showed you my medical termination of pregnancy first trimester how will you do second trimester how will you do standard only it is same mifepristone mesoprostol um, dilation evacuation etc etc okay a suction evacuation manual evacuation all those things are there okay then um, Specific terms and obstetrics that you should know guys. See what we are trying to say is priority questions you will learn. Okay, but in the exam they will not ask you simple things like um, they will not ask you let's say they will not ask you ectopic pregnancy. When you know ectopic pregnancy you know it is ectopic pregnancy you will write lot of it about it. But what if they ask you something like coviolare uterus. Do you know what it is? No. So specific terms you should know because specific terms they can ask you in the exam and it will give you no clue as to from which a part they are talking about okay what is muller munrocker test uh, basically let's start here negley's rule negley's rule is like uh, how do you calculate the estimated delivery date right so you will add nine months plus seven days kulvare uterus means what covilare uterus so this is a severe form of concealed abruptio placentae <clears throat> where the blood is entering the wall of the uterus okay next what is uh, muller munrocker test say that muller munrocker test 
so where were we here muller munrokar <coughs> so basically this is about uh, <coughs> checking for uh, cephalo pelvic disproportion guys anyways let's go bishop score we told you induction of labor bishop score should be greater than 6 uh, some people are great saying greater than 9 only then you will induce the labor hegar sign it's a probability test for um, uh, pregnancy uh, basically uterus you can uh, the fingers will oppose right remember we'll put the hand in vagina hand in uh, uh, and fingers will oppose then asynclitism it is the the way the sagittal suture will you know turn and come uh, and it will try to manage so some amount of asynclitism is good triple test is about triple marker test quadruple marker test to find out whether the child has down syndrome uh, brand brand andrew technique is about the controlled cord traction help he llp this is about uh, the hepatic enzymes uh, platelet etc right basically in uh, eclampsia then apla is about anti phospholipid uh, antibody syndrome then bandy ring is about the constriction band this is pathological mendelson syndrome what is mendelson syndrome Ga uh, aspiration you know during surgery if they ask aspirate the uh, gastric content okay that's mendelson syndrome so all these are specific terms guys understand that we are just briefly looking at some uh, high priority okay briefly only we are looking at focus we will make separate video about details of each of this so that you will be able to revise in the last minute okay now let us let us look at the high priority questions in gynecology bleeding 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 like we told you gynecology so from menarche to menorrhagia to menopause everything okay so uh, post menopausal bleed is very 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 important question in gynecology why why focus here why is this post menopausal bleed a very very high priority in the exam because post menopausal bleed can indicate carcinoma that's why okay it can be cervical carcinoma endometrial carcinoma endometritis is where the menstrual bleeding is occurring uh, retrograde it is going up instead of coming out of the uterus into the world it is going backwards into the fallopian tube etc pelvic inflammatory disease uh, chlamydia all that you should know aub dub means what abnormal uterine bleeding dysfunctional uterine uterine bleeding all your menorrhagia metorrhagia oligomenorrhea also even if it bleeds less it's abnormal only pcos is uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome very important to know here what will happen in pcos guys come on say pcos <coughs> polycystic ovarian syndrome yes the person will have more androgens hirsutism they will have even diabetic uh, diabetes they can uh, develop later because of insulin resistance vaginal infection guys vaginal infection can be fungal or bacterial or trichomonas in bacterial you remember you have studied um, wif test amsels criteria clue cells etc okay cervical cancer very 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 important pap smear how will you do paponychial tape tran uh, transition zone very important to know the old squamocolumnar junction new squamocolumnar junction the stages of cervical cancer fibroid very important guys leiomyoma are you focusing leiomyoma very important intramural intra uh, what is that submucosal subserosal prolapse uh, the layer uh, the stages of prolapse and prosydensia cystocele erectocele all that you should know semen analysis they had asked this in the exam focus here semen analysis was asked in the exam very important to, to know in semen analysis the ph citrate then what else will be that um zinc so many things will be that please go and look at that dermoid cyst again same benign cystic teratoma teratomitis uh, remember that this will have teeth hair etc in the ovary dysmenorrhea is pain it can be spasmodic pain or congestive pain congestive will be pathological secondary amenorrhea will be that as she has got pregnant first time but she is not able to get pregnant now this can be mainly because of what maybe she is already pregnant again that is why she is having secondary amenorrhea or it could be what it could be pcos it could be some pituitary cause it could be thyroid cause so many causes are that you'd have to look at that okay then coming to stress stress incontinence once a person delivers baby she will be having urinary incontinence okay so you should find out how to fix all this because when uh, the 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 way after a pregnancy or uh, what will happen it gets uh, the it gets funnel shaped or something it gets uh, pushed right so the abdominal uh, pressure instead of closing the sphincter it will not be able to close the sphincter so she'll be peeing a little when she coughs or uh, sneezes that is stress incontinence fotheringal operation when will you do this comes uh, fotheringal operation and all comes when uh, you're talking about what focus guys are you listening uh, that uh, cervical amputation when uh, elongated cervix okay then risk for chorio carcinoma this they'll ask you a thousand times they will ask you this question in your viva risk for chorio carcinoma when is there high risk for chorio carcinoma this is all you have to know if it is the hcg level 
HCG level is greater than 1 lakh, if the lady's age is greater than 40, like this some other criteria is there, okay, remember that. Remember mostly core, uh, complete mole uh, can become choriocarcinoma, okay. So these are the priority questions in gynecology, okay. Did you understand? Now let's move on to specific terms in gynecology. RU 460, uh, 486 is what? Mifepristone. Whiff test, we just now told you, bacterial vaginosis, middle schmerz, ovular pain. So when she ovulates, she'll have this pain. Somebody, nobody will write this ovular pain and give you a clue. They will just tell you middle schmerz pain, then what is it? Then you say ovulation pain. Metropathia hemorrhagica is that your uh, 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 DUV, okay, dysfunctional uterine bleeding uh, in, in perimenopausal women. Asherman syndrome is about uh, the sinicae, isn't it? Uterine sinicae. So this can cause aminorrhea again, okay? Um, because sometimes people will do dilatation and curettage or some things where which causes sinicae adhesions, okay? Asherman syndrome, spin, spin bucket test. They'll just tell you this. That means from where are they talking about? Yeah, they're talking about ovulation, that uh, mucus, cervical mucus pattern. Very good. Turner syndrome. Do you know where it'll come? Yes, it is about uh, chromosome abnormality. She'll have only one X chromosome. So you should know the features of Turner syndrome, okay? Now uh, we are done with looking at high priority uh, list. Okay, now let us continue. Common terms, trips and tricks, you know, you should spray your paper with all these words. You should always try to rule out pregnancy when she comes with Amin or Hoya. OC pills can solve many problems, okay. Um, uh, but uh, OC pills obviously will have their own side effects. However, to regulate cycles and all, they will use OC pills. If she wants um, family, then you, you usually try to save the ovaries and the uterus, etc. If she doesn't want to get pregnant, then you can, uh, whenever there is some problem in a, m a woman who has completed her family in post 40, etc., they usually suggest this hysterectomy and many uh, examiners hate this word hysterectomy. Don't use the word hysterectomy. They will say, what is this? Is the only solution to everything on earth hysterectomy. So some people exactly hate it and you can see so much of hysterectomy being done that you yourself also will comment like that. Okay. Then drawing diagrams is very, very, very important. People focus here. Drawing diagrams. How difficult is it right, to draw one diagram like this with placenta and umbilical cord and one fetus and one cervix here and everything you can write about your threatened abortion how will the be os will be closed in the inevitable abortion os will be open then uh, just indicate um, whatever you want to indicate you can indicate here right so obstetrics you draw this diagram and for gynecology this diagram how difficult is this diagram say such an easy diagram you can get so many marks just by drawing diagrams and uh, you can make the examiner's life a little more colorful because he has to only read 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 he'll get bored okay now this is the end of our uh, uh, presentation. So uh, you will see a lot of uh, uh, people asking for male child, especially in India. You can see patients talking to each other, asking for male child and advising the other patient why she should have a male child, etc. It's very, very sad. Parents are the first problem for a daughter and homes are the most dangerous places for daughters. So I request you to please give your home to your daughter and not son. Even after her marriage, please give the place to the daughter. This uh, And then what else? One thing that uh, gynecology says is um, the best method of family planning once a family is complete, you know, if you want to sterilize. It's not tubectomy, it is vasectomy, very simple outpatient procedure. So please choose vasectomy and be proud to be the person who is doing the family planning. If a woman has the... If the woman... Let me say it right. If, a, if the woman has the responsibility to give birth. Let the responsibility of not giving birth be on the man. Bye-bye.